I think the wonderful thing about Scratch is it's much more than a programming language. It's a community, it's a family, uh, and where kids can not only like learn important concepts on their own, but they can also learn from each other and collaborate with each other. And that makes Scratch so wonderful and special. So I did my undergraduate in computer science and engineering from India and I was also actively uh, participating in the open source movement in India uh, and um, as a part of that after graduating from college I joined this organization called the One Laptop Per Child Project which had its connections with the Media Lab and uh, what intrigued me about the One Laptop Per Child Project is their learning philosophy and their learning ideals. And that came from Seymour Papert, who was Mitch Resnick's uh, mentor. And I was really, really inspired by what Seymour had to say about education. So after a couple of years in the One Laptop Per Child project, uh, I was kind of thinking of looking uh, at uh, other opportunities. And it seemed like joining the Lifelong Kindergarten group would be a great way for me to explore Seymour's ideas further. And so in some ways, uh, that kind of led me into the Lifelong Kindergarten group. So uh, uh, when I think about programming in general, a lot of people who have to do programming as adults, uh, they need to deal with a lot of data, especially if you're not a computer scientist, if you're in some other field. So if you're an astronomer, you have to deal with a lot of data that's coming in from your observations. If you're a social scientist, you do a lot of interviews and then try to get together this data and try to analyze it and try to figure out what it means. So what I tried to do as a part of my master's thesis was to think about how kids can program and explore data. Uh, and I worked by extending Scratch in a certain way so that you can store data online. So with this, what kids can do is they can extend their games to have a truly global high score list. Since the data is being stored online, everyone who plays the game shares this high score list. They can also create surveys, they can create um, collaborative art because the data is in one place so a lot of kids can come together and create art in the single place and so these are like some of the examples which kids can which have been created by kids to with this online data it's going to be a larger family uh, we are thinking about uh, enabling others to extend Scratch in different ways. Uh, we are thinking of more connections to the physical world. We are thinking about more connections to the online world. With Scratch 2.0 going online, there's this entire new ecosystem that opens up with online data, with online services. And so these are some of the things that really excite me when I look at the future of Scratch. Now this is amazing in the sense that uh, just uh, downstairs I was attending this talk and scr someone said that Scratch is a programming language, it is an online community, but it's also this big family and that, that I get that sense everywhere whenever I like talk to someone in this community, like it's just like talking to an uncle or a cousin, it's just amazing to like talk to so many people from all over the world and see the shared enthusiasm and spirit among all of them. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you.